So this video, I want to talk about how to get ZimWriter running on a Mac. We had a user, Jeff Jenkins, today ask about using ZimWriter with UTM. I had a video I made about UTM, and he was running into an issue. So I want to refresh that video. We're going to specifically look at using UTM, which is like Parallels, but it's free to run uh, ZimWriter. Let me give you the high-level overview on running ZimWriter on a Mac right now, because there's a lot of different ways to go about it. Right now, I record all my videos for, for my, my YouTube channel. On, on a Mac. And I'll I'll do that with something called Parallels. Parallels is essentially the, a virtualized version of Windows, full-blown Windows, runs on my Mac computer. I can run all of my Windows applications. It's very fast. It's very smooth. The speed is going to depend on the, the type of Mac you have. I'm running an M2 Mac right now. Very fast. I have no issues running ZimWriter. I can just open up ZimWriter. It runs no problem whatsoever. I'll use this to, to record all my videos. I'm here in Windows, but I'm, I'm actually on my Mac. This is how I prefer to run ZimWriter on my Mac because I'm making videos. If I wasn't making videos, I just wanted to write blog posts, I probably would not go through the trouble of using Parallels. What I would probably use is something called Whiskey. Whiskey only runs on an M series Mac, so M1, M2, M3, M4, all right? And you can containerize different Windows applications. And Whiskey's free. Parallels is 100 a year. Whiskey's completely free. You can go to getwhiskey.app, download the latest version. I have a video on this. Go to my site, Ranking Tactics, click on Secret Training, scroll down to this big, big playlist. And at the bottom, you'll see this complete step by step guide on setting up Whiskey. You set up Whiskey, you install ZimWriter, and then you can use ZimWriter on your computer. The only thing you don't get working is magic commands because Whiskey can't access the clipboard copy and paste like you could in Windows. So if you want to use magic commands, this is not how you're going to do it, but this will run everything else. It will run your bulk writer, your penny arcade, your SEO writer. Basically, you get a, a, a native Mac experience with the ZimWriter. And it's also very low resource uh, uses. So that's another way to, to run ZimWriter on a Mac right now. Now, the other way is through something called UTM. UTM is just like Parallels. It's like a virtualized, containerized, Windows experience, but it's completely free. Now, because it's free, there's some quality of life stuff that, that is not as user-friendly as you would get through something like Parallels. But we'll go ahead and set up UTM and get it working on here. The first thing you want to do is go to Google and type in get UTM Mac. You'll want to download the file, or you can get it on the Mac Store. The Mac Store, it's $10, and that's just to support the developers. You can just download it from right here. But you'll download that and you'll also need an application let's open up the app store called crystal fetch and this is going to download the actual windows um, iso file like the image file of windows it's free you'll want to download this and, and, and open it up i have utm open here and crystal fetch open here first thing you want to do is in crystal fetch you want to select windows 11 and then whatever architecture you're running on so if you have an m series mac select apple silicon if you have an Intel Mac, select this. Once you've made your selections, click download. It's going to download the Windows ISO file. And you'll want to put it somewhere. I'm putting it, I, and I'm making like a download, because you're going to want to keep this. If you delete this ISO file, UTM will no longer work. So I made a little directory called UTM, and I moved the file in here. Don't rename the file. Just leave it as is. So here's the ISO file that Crystal Fetch downloaded. Now we go into UTM itself. Click create a new virtual machine and we are going to virtualize. Remember, this will not work if you selected the wrong architecture. I'm on an M series Mac, so I downloaded the Apple Silicon one. <laughs> if you're on Intel, you want to download the Intel one. So I'm going to click Windows because that's what I want to install. I want to install Windows or higher. I want to browse for this ISO file and we will not check this box. So we'll leave this unchecked. And there's also there's an install guide here. If you want to read more about it, we'll just click continue. We want to give it a healthy amount of RAM. So 8192 for eight gigabytes. I found four gigabytes does not work that well. And we'll give this, you don't have to give it 64 gigs, but maybe like 48 gigs of disk space because Windows does take a little bit to install. And then finally, our share directory, because we want to be able to access files, like share files between our downloads folder and our UTM install. So I'm going to just select my downloads folder and click continue and click save. So now it's made my little Windows UTM instance. I'll press play. 
Now, this is going to come up. You're going to see something that says press a key. When that happens, you press enter. If you don't press enter, it junks up and you'll have to press the red button and close it and retry it. If you get any other error message or, or like problems or something, you probably did something wrong. So just rewind the video and do everything that I showed you uh, step by step and, and it should work just fine for you. Otherwise, you'll get uh, the, the issue that uh, Jeff's having, which is like this thing right here. Let's go over here, click next. We have Windows running now. We're just going through the setup. I don't have a product key. We're going to do Windows Home. Click I accept. I was doing the install, so I can close a lot of these windows. Don't need Crystal Fetch open anymore. If I just wanted to write blog posts and I had an M-Series Mac, I would just use Whiskey. It's so easy to get up and running. You can install other Windows applications with it too. I'll cut the video and we'll come back when this thing's completely done. I think we're in the home stretch here. We're not going to press anything. We're going to let it do its thing. See, what's nice about Whiskey is you don't have to do any of this stuff. All right, you just literally install Whiskey and then it gives you like, you just follow, will follow my video, but then you can just install Zenrider. You don't have to go through any of this stuff. It's a lot quicker, but again, it only works on an M series Mac. Windows just takes forever to set up. Finally, look at that. Now, when this first starts up, it's going to ask you to do this guest tools. I think the guest tools is going to enable copying and pasting between Windows and your Mac. Let's reboot now. So when you boot this thing up from now on, you're not going to press any keys over here because you're not booting from your CD or D your DVD. You're just going to let it boot from the virtual hard drive. I'll show you something really cool. We'll actually duplicate this and make it like a second version, a second virtualized instance. Once you go through the whole trouble of setting this all up, duplicating the virtual instances is actually very easy. So we should have everything up and working now. Let's try Notepad. Now, I don't have Windows activated, but I think you can just continue to use it without being activated. So let's copy from here, paste. It works. I thought the keyboard, the, the keys are different though. So, so yeah, copy and paste works phenomenal. Let's check for our shared folders. Click on this PC. My network Z drive is my downloads folder that we shared. With our setup, we select the downloads folder. If you didn't, you can come into the virtualized instance and change your directory. Now we can copy and, and move stuff between our two instances. Let's copy this and move it to our downloads folder. We're just going to unzip this. Finally, we have ZimWriter. Fantastic. So ZimWriter is now set up on this virtual instance of Windows. And again, the benefit of this over something like Parallels is it's completely free. So let me shut this down, then I'll show you something really cool. So we'll, we'll just shut down. I can actually clone. Yes. And we can edit. Call this Windows 2. And I guess there's other options you can configure in here. Lots of different options you can configure. And then we'll edit this one right here. And we'll call this Windows 1. Cool. So we have like two virtualized instances. So theoretically, I should be able to open up both of them. If you want to use ZimWriter this way, you'd, you'd need two licenses because it's still going to be pinging the Gumroad server. You don't want to be in a situation where your license will get uh, revoked. But this is a way to run multiple versions of Windows simultaneously. I think Parallels really is a lot faster for the initial startup. I don't know if it's going slower here because I'm running two instances, but the parallel startup is a lot faster. We have two versions of Windows running simultaneously. Let me just start one of them up at a time to see if it actually runs faster. Maybe it was going slower because I was running two. Right, let's just run one. Yeah, it's going a little bit faster with just one instance. That's how you can get ZimWriter and, and virtually any other Windows application running on a Mac without too much trouble and start generating lots of articles. If this video was useful to you, drop a comment down below, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then obviously pray for that day that, <laughs> that we have the native version of ZimWriter, which would even be more powerful than what exists right now, running on a Mac and Windows simultaneously. So 
that's all I got. Don't forget also to check out my eight hour YouTube course on creating uh, a WordPress website from scratch. That's all in the description link down below. Good luck with using Zimwriter and I will talk to you later.